now in a week marred by tension and protest in Chicago. Here's a positive, life-affirming story courtesy of the Phillips Academy football team. We've been following these young men for more than a year, their successes and their challenges off the field. And as CBS 2's Vince Gersoli reports, last night their hard work and sacrifice paid off with the ultimate prize. Phillips Wildcats winners. You'd be smiling too if you were the first CPS team to win the state football title. I'm feeling happy, man. This game's cranking it up, letting it go. Downfield, caught touchdown. Where is can't explain it. The Southside's Wendell Phillips Academy buried the competition 51 to 7. Having a city behind you means a lot. Cheers of support from every corner of Chicago have dominated local social media for weeks. We did what we had to do, and it wasn't easy. When quarterback Quavon Skane says that, he's also talking about a team staying determined in spite of challenges just outside their front doors. They just have to stay focused due to all the violence that's going on and just people living in bogus neighborhoods and having to come to school. When he's focused, he's focused. He don't worry about nobody in the stands. He know I'm there, but. <laughs> Quincy Skane's got horse cheering on his son from the stands. What's that like seeing your child achieve their dreams? I mean, that's the, that's the ultimate thing you can ask as a parent, especially like what's going on out here in the city. You need something positive, so it's just a blessing for me to have a child like that. It is a special blessing this week as a video of a white officer killing a black team has led to protests and fears of violence. But now, a team of all-American boys has gifted Chicago with hope. All of a sudden, you guys are giving everyone a reason to smile. We did it to make everybody proud. and to make everybody happy and take all the um, negativity out the Chicago area and put some positive things in there. A victory touching more lives than these young men may have ever imagined. On the South Side, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Congratulations, guys. You sure did make Chicago proud.